Okay, I am back out at Campsite Z. Just cleaning up some of the mess from the last video. But I brought some cool stuff out today because I got these. These are 7.62 by 50R red tip. They're not tracers. They are $10 a round. Seven of them there. <laughs> That's $70 right here. Uh, they are they're they're heavy armor piercing. These are silver tip. They are armor piercing incendiary. They have a smaller steel core in there. They don't, they work, but not near as good as these guys here. These are a real deal. And then we also got, I brought the Beowulf back out. Got Extreme Penetrator because I got, uh, that's the steel plate at level three. Just left to like 44 mag. Pretty sure that was a Bushmaster went through there. So that should tear right through it. But I also, I'm out here by myself today. My cock, he is out saving the world. He's repopulating the, the earth. Yeah, keep the hands ringing. So I'm by myself today, except I brought Corn Pop. He is a bad dude. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. But if you want to see more of Mike Hawk, you can check him out on his channel, him and his buddy do. It's Bottom Line Tactical, BLT Tactical. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff and yeah i mean they're just like just like us rednecks up here <laughs> shooting shit with uh stupid guns speaking of stupid guns it's really the, these aren't really too stupid this is my 54r it's m44 polish i do believe should be right polish m44 i do believe and so i'm gonna set corn pop up down there and i'm gonna blast them I would a regular one. I was, I'm sorry, John from Alloy 211. I was gonna bring your targets, and because I have them down my other shooting range, and I, I totally forgot them. So, this is a one inch thick plate. Maybe we'll set that up. I'm sure that that'll blaze right through it. So, we'll see what arm or regular incendiary that armor piercing does with that. And so, let me quit talking here and get this set up. And I think that's all I had to say because. I'll probably post this up in like some YouTube shorts because that's the only way you can actually get anything out on YouTube anymore with the gun world. So if you see my shorts come up with that, that's why. Okay, first up versus Corn Pop is the 50 Beowulf Extreme Penetrator. Let's see if we can penetrate Mr. Pop. Here we go. <laughs> Seven point sixty two by fifty four R red tip. There's the corn pop. Seven point six two by fifty four R silver tip versus corn pop. Damn. Okay, so pretty interesting results here, man. I was like, where's the sap coming from? The whole tree got some spalling going whole way up it. Uh, that's why I was far back. The AP round almost went the whole way through inch thick solid steel. So, John, I will have to bring your targets out, man. Probably get one right down there. But uh, that was the API. Just scratched it. It has a small hardened steel penetrator in it, kind of like the 223. And these are 8 millimeter AP rounds. So that one went through deeper than 8 millimeter AP. And that was just a full metal jacket. Dean scratch it. 50 Beowulf. Dean scratch it. So that's crazy, man. Them things are nasty. I can, you know, it's kind of a hole back there. I think it almost feel a slight bulge, but 50 BMG, you know. Hmm. So, yeah, let's just shoot the Beowulf at that other steel play, I guess. I know it's going to go right through. Okay, let's try this again. I did a whole video, or one part down here, didn't hit record. It's the Extreme Penetrator 50 Beowulf. That's a level 3 plate, up to 44 mag. And let's watch the Beowulf go straight through it.
I see some devastation, and I also see some copper. I, I don't know why. I kept forgetting, like, the gun shoots low, the sights. So I, that was, I think, a fresh hole. String penetrator went through there. I don't want to hit low where there was already a hole. I was like, I'll try another one. That was a hollow point that just tore right through there, and I see it right here. Oh, that's so cool. Very hot. Very, very hot. Screaming hot. So that's the hollow point. Bowser, she's hot. <clears throat> oh, just pick it up again. I'm sure it won't be hot this time. So yeah, it opened up, but that is so hot. <laughs> the, the base is solid copper. Actually, if Mike, if you're watching, let me see. When we shot them books and we couldn't find that hollow point, I flipped the table over and found it. So this was fired through books, and this one hit the plate. So before, after. That's pretty impressive. It's still really hot. Yeah, I was comparing them two bullets there. I'm like, why is there like a fresh dirt? And here's a hollow point. It must have been when I was just testing now, because they were flat nose I was shooting. So it was in the ground. I don't remember shooting anything on the ground. Everything was on the table. Unless that's an no. Unless it's a round nose that opened up, but I don't think so. Huh. I have no idea why there's just a it's definitely a Beowulf. It's the same size. It's from us. I don't know. Anybody remember what we shot on the ground? I have to go back and look at it. That's pretty neat though figured it out it was the one that went through the table like one of the first shots when we realized it's shooting real low went through the pudding through a two by six into the ground that's what that was but it's pretty neat to got the same bullet unscathed halfway or fully opened and then completely demolished same bullet same type <laughs> okay well that's it guys just a quick little video uh make sure, make sure you check out mike hawk and his buddy on bottom line tactical on youtube and it's hard to believe that there is a big snowstorm coming. So I got to go home and do a couple things. I mostly want to try out them, them red tips. Dude, them are impressive for a 7.62 by 54R. I mean, I guess for $10 a piece, they should do something. And they certainly did. So if you can think of anything else you want me to blast with them besides myself, which might be an option at some point in time, but not today. Not today. Let me know. Thanks, guys.